All rise. Judge Von B. Court is now in session. Judge, this is case number JVB1002, Green versus Green. Thank you. You all may be seated. Okay, Mr. Green, you brought this case before the court. What's going on? Uh, I don't have any of my paperwork with me, but uh, basically I need to get child support. Uh, I don't have a job right now. Uh, Elle's working, but now that we're separated, uh, I recently filed for divorce, so uh, I can't support the kids when they're over at our place. And uh, honestly, it just it'd be great if I could get a little bit of child support to take care of the kids. So let me get this straight. You guys are married. You filed for divorce. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. And you're seeking child support from her. Yes, that's correct, your yes. judge. Who? Who, do, who does these children live with? The, the kids live with me, Your Honor. They're also at my place on the weekdays. About on weekends. They, are, they come see you on weekends, okay? Weekends. Okay. Weekends. They're, so you're a non-custodial parent? No, no, you're judge. Excuse me? I said, no, you're judge. No, you're a non-custodial parent, which means that she should receive the child support benefit, not you. See, I'm, I'm honestly new to this whole thing. I'm not sure how it's supposed to work. I just know that, you know, I'm currently, if I don't have a job right now, I can't, I can't take care of the kids when they come over. I mean, I can barely wait, wait afford, a minute, wait a minute. I'm barely you, afford to keep myself in an apartment. You, you have common sense though, right? I'd like to think my mama gave me common sense. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So then you should understand that if the children are living with her and just because you're unemployed, that doesn't mean that you shouldn't be paying her child support but if the children live with her. Yes. Your judge, how am I supposed to how am I supposed to pay like how am I supposed to take care of the kids if um, you're get supposed a job. to get a job? Exactly. Get a job. Everyone has to work. Why do you think you're so special and that doesn't apply to you? I just I don't I don't I'm I can't really find a job in my, my career because what kind of career do you do I'm and make this good? I'm a mechanic, but it's just, it's hard to do Wait what I do. You cannot find a job as a mechanic? Yeah, yes, your job. What type of mechanic are you? I work on mechanical bulls. It's not very easy for me to get work because right now there's just not a lot of bulls needing them in the wintertime. It just doesn't happen. Okay, so right now I you had, can I find had, something else, right? Uh, that's what I keep telling him, but... He's very picky about the job. Well, and I have to honor. I have to explain to her all the time that all mechanical items aren't the same. All right, like I can't just work on a car because I wasn't trained that way. I went to school. Like I don't have the opportunity. Oh, it's getting better. You went to school, so you have a skill set, right? Yes, ma'am. I went. So I, you can use it for something other than mechanical bulls. Yes, correct? like supporting your kids. Is, is that right? It's a yes or no. I don't need all the extra. Yes, I went to school, but okay. no, it doesn't apply. You, know what? It doesn't. I'm, I, you obviously came here to waste my time. No, ma'am, I didn't. I just want to take care of my kids, well, and I can't do you know that if I don't make money. You're going to take care of your kids. You're going to go get another job. And even if you don't get another job, what's going to happen today, you're going to be ordered to pay her child support. And it looks like you just stopped working in July. That's yes, right. I, I did. I, I did quit in July right before I filed for divorce. You, you quit in July right before you filed for divorce because you felt like you wouldn't have to pay child support. You really thought that she was going to pay it to you. Maybe, uh, well, I'm, maybe I'll throw myself on the mercy of the floor of the court here, honestly, because I thought that when you are separated from a loved one and you have kids, you're supposed to pay child support. That's what I was told. My daddy paid child support. I know how it works. Oh, I'm just saying I thought don't. I thought she would pay because, yeah, I mean, like, how much? If okay, she's gonna, well, if kids are gonna be with me. I can't. I think can't feed them goldfish. I can't pay for it. Texas Workforce Commission correctly reported your numbers of what you made from January through July. So that's where we're going to base your child support off of. According to that, you made forty-five thousand six hundred dollars within those months. How many children do you all have? We have two, two children. Two okay, children. how old are these children? They are twelve, 12 and six. six. Twelve and six. Okay. And who covers health insurance? I do, Your Honor. How much is it? One hundred and sixty-seven dollars a month. Okay. So this is what we're going to do. Um, I have from that forty-five thousand six hundred. I have your gross at thirty-eight hundred dollars. Excuse me. What what what's going on here? My I'm making my ruling, and you are speaking to someone else that is not a party to this case. Who is that? 
just a friend trying to help me out. I okay, mean, well, obviously, <laughs> sir, you going to come up here and help him pay child support? Wait, you're, okay, thanks. you're judging. Am I paying child you, support? I, I can't afford to stay back If here. I'm asking for child support, how can I pay it? You're about, how? After you listen to me and I tell you what the amount is. So your gross is $3,800, which brings your net to $3,112.11. Yes, grab a Snickers because you're going to be here a minute. Um, health insurance reimbursement to mom is $167. So based on that, I have your t your total child support monthly obligation of nine hundred and forty five dollars and three cents. That's to be paid every month. Thank you, Your Honor. You're welcome. Do you understand? No, I don't understand because I thought I came in here to receive money, ma'am. Well, didn't... you thought wrong, and I just gave you my ruling. So, any other questions? I have no questions. I I'm good with this. Okay. All uh, right. If there's nothing further, did you have something else? He always has something else. Okay. I just, if you know of anybody hiring, I would love a job. Okay, well, I think there's a bar that has a mechanical bull. You can go see if they need something done with the bull over there, okay? Thank you, Judge. If there's nothing further, you all are dismissed. Thank you. I just want to go over what you all witnessed in the case of Green versus Green. So in this case, the husband actually filed for divorce and believed that because he was the one that was unemployed, that the wife had to pay child support. That's absolutely not how it works. Under Texas law, whomever the children reside with, that's the person who receives the benefit of child support. It's not the other way around. And you would also notice that dad quit his job right before he filed for the divorce. If you work a job where you actually uh, receive a paycheck or anything like that, use your social security number, then guess what? The Texas Workforce Commission is able to calculate what your earnings were for that year. So if you notice, it went from January to July of what his earnings were, and his child support was able to be based off of that amount. Do you know of anyone who's experienced a similar situation? Be sure to subscribe to our channel and make sure you comment below. You never know, their story may end up as a scenario on our show. After all, these kids aren't raised on air alone. Support Court with Judge Bondaby.